oxygen production on Mars is in full swing. Record-breaking results. MOXIE is an experimental device designed to produce oxygen from the carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere of Mars. Scientists recently significantly increased the production capacity of the device and obtained a record amount of oxygen. On February 18, 2021, the Perseverance rover landed on the Red Planet. Inside it, engineers hid a device called MOXIE. Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment Its job is to convert the carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere of Mars into oxygen. Now scientists from NASA report setting a record for oxygen production on the Red Planet. Recently, Researchers reached the maximum level of MOXIE production, twice as high as before. MOXIE appeared on Mars as a device to demonstrate the technology in action. It is just to show that the technology is viable and that a future much larger system could be used to generate oxygen on the Red Planet. This type of technology could enable a human presence on Mars. The oxygen produced there could be used as a component of rocket fuel, which would allow the astronauts to return home. It could also provide breathing air for the astronauts themselves. For rockets and astronauts, oxygen is crucial. Launching four astronauts into space from Mars, NASA has calculated, will require about 7 tons of rocket fuel and 25 tons of oxygen. Astronauts living and working on the Red Planet will need much less oxygen, about one ton, to breathe. Of course, it goes without saying that transporting such amounts of oxygen from Earth would be an expensive task. Therefore, Scientists have developed a kind of oxygen converter. MOXIE was first launched on April 20, 2021. He was then able to produce 5 grams of oxygen. According to NASA experts, about 10 minutes of breathing from the Martian atmosphere. The successful demonstration of the technology confirmed the scientists' assumptions. A device similar to MOXIE, but much larger and more efficient, is a more economical and practical solution than transporting raw material from Earth. The atmosphere of Mars is approximately 96% from carbon dioxide. The remaining 4% it's mostly nitrogen and argon. Oxygen makes up only 0.13%. Composition of the Martian atmosphere. MOXIE works by separating oxygen atoms from carbon dioxide molecules, which consist of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. MOXIE sucks in Martian air and passes it through filters to remove impurities. Then the air goes to the SOXE device 
which in electrochemical processes separates the air into oxygen ions and carbon monoxide. The oxygen ions are then isolated and recombined to produce molecular oxygen. Eventually, the oxygen ends up in the Martian atmosphere. The conversion process requires high temperatures, around 800 degrees Celsius. That's why MOXIE was made of heat-resistant materials. The device was printed in a 3D printer from a nickel alloy and light air goal. A thin gold coating on the outside of MOXIE prevents heat from radiating outwards, which could potentially damage other rover instruments. MOXIE's works are planned for several stages. Initially, it was only wanted to check and characterize the operation of the instrument. Now is the time, as Michael Hecht of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where MOXIE was designed, puts it. We're going to push the boundaries. The idea is to test the operation of the equipment in different modes of operation. Comparing the performance of the process under different conditions and temperatures. The influence of MOXIE on the atmosphere of the Red Planet is imperceptible. MOXIE in its current form produces oxygen equivalent to a medium-sized tree. The device only works when the Perseverance rover is not busy with other tasks. They have been activated 15 times since landing. In the whole of last year, a total of about 1,000 minutes worked. MOXIE is just one of several experiments aboard the Perseverance rover. And it cannot run continuously. On June 6, MOXIE worked for 58 minutes. The goal was to produce 6 grams of oxygen. I ended up making 12 grams. This is a result above expectations. But the researchers deliberately changed the parameters of the device for maximum productivity. We obtained great results. Admitted Hecht and at the same time pointed out that it was a risky maneuver that could lead to damage to the instrument. Hecht added that the challenge all along was to define ways to operate more efficiently on Mars by producing a greater yield of oxygen. The success of MOXIE is of great importance for potential manned missions to Mars, as it demonstrates the ability to generate vital oxygen for astronauts. A possible future mission could be equipped with a much larger device, operating continuously, not just for an hour, producing tens of tons of oxygen needed to create breathable air for astronauts, as well as the amount of fuel needed to refuel a rocket to return to Earth.